Uh, this black, Raven Black uh, Boss 429 is uh, definitely one of my favorites. Um, it's favorite from the standpoint of being a black boss. Um, most of the 69 bosses had white or black interior. Um, I'm not sure they didn't all. And I'd have to say that Ed Myers and Bob Perkins and Steve Strange, those are the guys that know everything about these bosses, but I've read a little bit about them. But this, um, this particular boss is the first uh, serial numbered uh, Boss 429 that was sold to the public. Um, and you see the little sign there, Job One. Um, the first several uh, were used for, um, oh, just for crash tests, um, uh, race cars. They were, I guess, um, kind of like the Ford factory race cars. Um, then there was a couple of them that were used on uh, rough road tests, um, collision tests, that sort. Uh, seems a real shame, doesn't it? Uh, but this, this car then was a Mach 1 taken off the line and sent to CarCraft. It's neat to see the markings on the cars uh, with the hood because, yeah, they uh, take the hood off and uh, do the work, but get it right back on the same car. And uh, it being these first 50 or so being Mach 1s have some differences. And most of the differences are on the bottom side, um, just things that have been removed and then, uh, you know, replaced uh, with the car craft uh, changes. Uh, because the engine is uh, quite large and they required that they reposition the shock towers in order to get the engine in place. Uh, another thing about the bosses is, um, all the options were the same. You look at a Marty report from one to the other and they have the same options. So uh, that's just the way Ford designed them. Uh, they made about 850 in 1969 and I think it was 499 in 1970. Uh, but um, they also, the first 200, uh, they had the, the NASCAR engine and I think it's the S code. Uh, Boss 429, and pardon me if I've uh, made errors in this, but uh, that's what I recall. Um, and they all had the, the Magnum 500 wheels, um, and we're fortunate to be able to get the correct tires from Mr. Kelsey at Kelsey Tires. Uh, he bought the Goodyear molds and is continuing to make these tires. And it seems that, yeah, they just look so much better with the the Goodyear buys tires than uh, any other modern tire. It uh, just fits the car. And um, that's uh, principally um, this car. And um, I think I mentioned the story about it. Um, I had been at Barrett Jackson and saw a Raven Black Boss 429 go through the auction. Uh, it did extremely well. I knew where one was, so then I got back, I bought it, and it took several years for us to get it restored. Uh, Bob Wilson and Ed Myers uh, did the, the restoration and just finished it up this year to take it to the Boss Nationals in Kansas. Uh, but a few years after I had acquired the car, uh, Ed Myers uh, called me and he had acquired uh, Boss 429 believing that it was the first um, um, serial number uh, sold to the public. And he asked me, he said, I understand you have a Raven Black uh, Boss 429. Would its serial number be 150391? I checked it, sure enough it was. So he told me uh, that this was the first then that was sold to the public, which was kind of exciting, especially since I had the first 1970 uh, Boss 429 that was sold to the public. That's the Grabber Blue white interior car. But this one, yes, it has uh, the magnesium head covers, uh, just the true NASCAR engine. And uh, on each of these engines, uh, we've rebuilt them and we've run them on a dyno uh, just to ensure that everything's correct before they go in the hole, uh, we say because you don't want to have to put this engine in and out a number of times. 
And, and when I look through the dynos on all of these cars, they're all in excess of 500 horsepower and uh, somewhere generally around the 550 horsepower. So quite unique cars.